Planet Dolan. Where do couples hook up by tripping each other on the dance floor? What well, culture trains their men from age 13 to be sex experts? We take a look at 10 of the most extreme sexual traditions all over the world. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 10. No kissing. In Mozambique, the Tonga tribe considers the act of kissing to be disgusting, unhygienic, since it involves swapping saliva. That kissing ban isn't even an act of sexual repression. The Tonga have no qualms at all with public or ritualistic sex. That's totally cool, but kissing is way over the line. Turns out it's not entirely unique to them, but half the world's societies find kissing to be gross. Number 9. No sex in the daytime. Polymori isn't especially rare in world culture, but one South African culture puts odd limits on it. Basically the rule is, you can have sex with whoever you want, as long as it's at night. Apparently having sex during the day makes you some kind of subhuman animal trash, whether you're married or not. There are exceptions of course, there's a thunderstorm, you just had a bad dream, a man has just returned from slaying a crocodile, python, hyena, all bets are off. In that case you can jump those bones anywhere, anytime. Number 8. Temporary marriages. In some Islamic sects, particularly in Iran, people pride themselves in finding loopholes in the rules of religion. In Iran, unmarried couples who so much as hold hands in public can be arrested, fined and flogged. That's why they introduced the temporary marriage license. It's like a marriage with a set expiration date, ranging from a few minutes to several years. Some couples use it as a trial marriage before committing folly, so they can do all the things married couples can do. However, some just use it as a cover to basically legalize prostitution. Number 7. The Moria people of India take sex education very seriously. In their culture, young people are given free reign at night to explore sexuality in a youth-run organization known as Gertul. During the day, the Gertul is like a school for social values, discipline, and responsibility. But at night, all the young people in the village get to go have sex with each other. Now it isn't just a big orgy, there are rules. No person can ever be forced into sex if they don't feel ready. Also people must regularly rotate sexual partners. No two people can have sex more than two or three times in a row. And nobody can be left out. It's meant to help young people find marriage partners, but also to curb feelings of jealousy and possessiveness at a young age. Number 6. Sex with your undies on. On the isolated Irish island of Inis Beg, also known as Inishir, sex is basically considered evil and unhealthy. The level of sexual repression here was so extreme, bathing alone was considered sinful, simply because it involves nudity. It was considered too sexual for parents to hug their children, because it involved bodily contact. Married couples considered sexual intercourse a necessary evil that must be endured for procreation. But just to make sure nobody enjoyed it, couples had sex in the dark and almost fully clothed, just pulling the necessary pieces out of their underwear. Even dogs were whipped for licking themselves, but don't worry, what they lacked in the sex, they made up for in drinking, fights, and furious masturbation. Number 5. Indonesians have a festival called Pon, in which they climb up a sacred mountain to have extramarital sex seven times a year. Naturally, the mountain is now generally known as Sex Mountain. Thing is, this is accepted as completely normal and socially. It doesn't even really count as cheating. If someone makes the pilgrimage all seven times and has sex on the mountain all seven times, they're said to be blessed with good luck. But only if they had sex with the same person every time, and it's not their spouse. Number four. At age 13, the boys of Mangaya Island undergo a sort of circumcision ritual and are isolated from the rest of the village. For the next two weeks, they get non-stop sexual instruction from an older man regarding positions, techniques, and restraint. After that two-week period ends, they enter a relationship with an experienced woman who continues his education from there. Women are also taught about the best ways to enjoy sex and are encouraged to sleep with as many men as possible. They may have multiple boyfriends between the ages of 13 and 20, that way they can find someone most sexually compatible with them. Orgasm for both parties is considered the goal of sex, and couples are expected to share two to three orgasms every night each. If a man can't bring his partner to climax, it's considered a mark of village-wide shame. Number three. The Gaijiro people of Colombia have a ritual fertility dance in which a man and woman dance around each other. The man dances while stepping backwards while the woman chases after him. The woman's goal is to trip the man by stepping on his feet, if she manages to trip him, the two just might have sex that night. Number two. 
Wadabi people of Middle Africa have to put on one of the most intense beauty pageants in the world. Only in this ritual, it's the women judging the men. Men spending all day getting their hair, makeup and dresses ready, judged by a panel of women. Women who are spectators to the event can tap a man on the shoulder if she likes him. That means they're married now, even if the man was already married to someone else. No worries though, women can have as many husbands as they want. Number 1. Masturbating into the Nile River The ancient Egyptians believed that the Nile River was formed by the ejaculation of a tomb, the god of creation. The pharaohs of Egypt were, themselves, considered to be godly, so they devised a ritual where the pharaohs of Egypt would jerk off into the Nile River. The idea was that continuing to replenish the river's divine supply of semen would ensure that the banks stay high. Or put differently, it was to make sure the Nile stayed fertile. Alright guys, what's the weirdest sexual practice you've ever heard of? Let us know in the comments down below, we'll pin our favourite to the top. That is it for this countdown, have a good one!